I am one of the formerly known members of the Central Park Five. Now we're known as the Exonerated Five. And here we are 34 years later, and I've mounted uh, my campaign to run for city council in the 9th District in Harlem. People do remember the story, but people are so thankful that I'm running for office. They're telling me that I provide that hope that they've been looking for. So you gotta imagine, you know, in 1989, the city looked at the color of our skin. We're talking about a government that says that you're innocent until proven guilty. But yet for black and brown boys, they were looking at the color of our skin and they judged us by it. They said we were guilty and we had to prove ourselves innocent. And of course, as we know, the system went forward. They turned a blind eye to all of the truths that were out there. We went to prison. I did almost seven years in prison for a crime that I did not commit. My good friend who was with me, who went to the precinct with me, Corey Wise, he did 13 years in prison for a crime he did not commit. They found out the truth 13 years later. So in 2002, from 1989 until 2002, we were under the awful stigma of being labeled rapists. No, we are still living in a very divided America, separate and unequal. And so I think it's a, it's, it, it, the, the hardest part is to overcome the fact that you could be seen just for the color of your skin as a crime. But they did that same thing to Emmett Till. They did the same thing to the Scottsboro Boys. They did that to Breonna Taylor, to Ramali Graham, to Eric Gardner. Coming back home, in many ways, is like me coming back to the scene of the crime. But I needed to learn how to become courageous. Being a victim is so difficult because you don't want this to happen to anyone else. And in many ways, you want your privacy. You need to heal. You need to be able to be made whole. But the best way, I think, to effectuate change is to turn your pain into purpose. You have to, you have to be able to say, you know, this happened for a reason.